For manufacturing companies, it is important that their sales module meets the following objectives. It should allow you to create sales orders and or invoices simultaneously or separately. It should allow you to enter sales orders automatically at the agreed upon price for the customer. It should allow you to enter sales orders as efficiently as possible. It should allow you to email sales orders and invoices without getting up from your desk or using another program. It should allow you to display or print out overdue sales order reports sorted by customer. As you will see during this video, PCMRP achieves all these objectives and more. First, let's enter a blanket sales order for our wheel assemblies, 10 per month for the next six months. To do this, I will select Modules, Sales, and New. If you're shipping the order today and the customer is paying by cash, check, or credit card, select Cash and Carry. If you're shipping the order today and the customer is paying on account, i.e. Net30, select On Account and Carry. If you are not shipping today, select Order Entry. You'll invoice the customer later on the day you ship the product. I will click on Order Entry for this example. For terms, I can select Visa, MasterCard, Net30, etc. But in this case, I'll leave it blank and allow PCMRP to insert my customer's default terms into the sales order. For ship via, I can select Bill of Lading, DHL, FedEx, and or UPS. Once again, I'll leave this blank and let PCMRP handle it. For FOB, I can select destination or origin. And once again, I'll leave this blank so that PCMRP can automatically insert our agreed upon terms from the customer. I can select from one of 22 store warehouses the product will be issued from. I'll select stores here. I can select taxable, non-taxable, resale, food products, service, etc. I'll select taxable for now as my tax type. The correct tax rate will be inserted automatically from the customer's address into the address book. I can now press the OK key. I will enter AR for Aero Electronics. Press the Enter button, select Aero Electronics, and press the OK button. Notice that the terms and tax rate came in automatically from the ad address book. If I click on the Delivery tab, notice that the FOB and the ship via came in as well. Clicking back on the customer tab, now I can enter the part of the part number, description or model number. I'll enter part of the description. Let's see, WH for wheel assembly. Press enter, I'll accept the wheel assembly and I'll click on the OK button. Now I can enter the quantity, I'll enter 10. Notice my selling price has changed from $2,000 to $1,800 each. Arrow is a level 1 customer, and that is the correct unit sales price for a level 1 customer ordering a quantity of 10. Notice that PCMRP has filled in all the information for the purchase order with the exception of the required ship date. So let's enter it. 12-12-2012. I can enter another line item by clicking on the Add button, but we wanted to create a blanket sales order. I could click on the breakdown button and enter odd quantities and odd dates. But I'm looking for an even simpler method, so I'm going to click on the cancel button and I'm going to click on the clone button. Here, I can enter five clones separated by one month each and press the OK button. Now, I press the items and notes button and voila, I have six line items separated by one month each. I will click on the finish button, OK and yes and print out the sales order. Here I can send the sales order to display, print, or email as PDF file. I'll select display. I can select standard or custom. I'll select custom. I will now press OK to print out the sales order. Here you can see the custom sales order contains a logo. You can see the sales order contains all six line items, all produced with just a couple of mouse clicks. I'll now hit the X box to return to the main menu. If I'm a salesman, first thing every morning, I want to look at my overdue sales order report. To do so, I will select Modules, Sales Orders, and Reports. I will select All Records, Overdue Only, and Sort by Customer, so that I can make it at just one phone call to each of my customers that have one or more overdue sales orders.
Once I've called my customers, I can hit the Cancel button to return to PCMRP's main menu. Maybe I then I will, I'll head on down to uh, Manufacturing and see what the holdup is. PCMRP has many more valuable features. For example, PCMRP offers an optional sales quote module, allowing your salesman to generate professional looking sales quotes that can be converted to sales orders with a click of the mouse button. In addition, quotes contain a percent probability field that can be filled in by the salesman and factored in when generating an MRP. PCMRP also supports automatically sending invoices to customers through EDI. Well, I hope I've convinced you that PCMRP can help streamline your company's sales operations.